I fed the exact same cinematic prompt into four A-list generators, Google VO3, Seed Dance Pro, Kling Master, and Halo 02. The results, jaw dropping. And I did it all without leaving one dashboard, design. Because let's be real, image to video is a secret source for locking down character location and look. Let's see which model nails it. In this video, we're gonna look at four different AI video tools. They are VO3, known for its cinematic realism and excellent text to video and image to video capabilities. Seed Dance Pro, fast, stylish, and punchy, offering both text to video and powerful image to video conversions. Kling 2.1 Pro, incredible detail and facial clarity in text to video and also supports image to video. Minimax Helio 02, powerful physics and motion in text to video plus robust image to video functionality. And I tested them all within Design, a creative platform that gives you access to pro level AI models, all in one place. All of the models we're testing today are image to video tests. And all of the images that I'm using for these image to video tests were also created within the design platform. If you go to text to image, this is where they were all created. And you can see all of the images here that were created with just two of the different models that they have, the Flux 1 model, also the design realistic version 3. And one of the features you get when you're on the top subscription for design is you get unlimited image generation. As you can see for the woman staring out the window, I've got a couple here by the Flux 1.0. I didn't enjoy them as much. And then a couple here by the Design Realistic V3. Generally, I went with the Design Realistic V3, which for me was the best text to image generator. But occasionally, I went with the Flux one as well. I think when it was the deer image, I chose the Flux one. But generally, I chose the ones that were created by Design V3. And you can see all the original images. And so there's really no need to leave the design platform to do this whole process that you've seen. So without further ado, let's get into comparing the image to video models now. So we start with Kling 2.1 Pro, which is pretty good. Minimax Halo 02, some weird movement dynamics from it, but a beautiful picture. Sea Dance Pro, I love the movement here and the smoke. Google VO3, pretty good. And I wanted to test if Google VO3 Fast would be as good as Google VO3. And for me, Google Vero Fast was pretty much exactly the same as Google Vero Free. Moving on quickly to Kling 2.1 Pro of the Astronaut. This is lovely. Minimax Halo 02, fantastic shot too. Sea Dance Pro, I love this one. There's a lot more movement, dynamic movement going on here. And Vero Free Fast also, the ship's leaving him behind. <laughs> Remember, all these prompts are the same. As we're going through all these examples, let me know if you agree with me or not in the comments, which shot is your favorite out of the astronaut shots, out of the car shots, and out of the shots that are yet to follow. So this is where Kling really shines with facial details and mood. And Mini Helu over-dramatizes the motion a bit. And Seed Dance, it balances the emotion with that soft focus. Beautiful. VO3 here. Incredible with the filmic light. And I throw in another one here quickly, Runway Gen 4. Another lovely model here. Not too much movement though. I love the movement that Kling has got here on the deer and the contrast in the image is beautiful. Halo 02 kind of doesn't get the motion quite right, but the lighting is stunning. Sea Dance Pro, beautiful, lovely shot. And VO3 Fast really nails it, even with the chewing of the mouth and of course the audio. Now let's talk about one of the most exciting features, turning these images into dynamic video. All of these images you've been seeing are from the most powerful models such as VO3, Sea Dance Pro, Kling Master 2.1, Halo 02 and some with Runway Gen 4 as well, which all support image to video conversion. This opens up a world of possibilities from animating still photos and bringing concept art to life. I gave them the images that you saw I created earlier, and here's how each one was brought to life. Notice how each model interprets the motion and the atmosphere uniquely, transforming a single image into a mini story. Kling adds subtle drama and maintains sharp details. Seed Dance feels like an animated trailer, adding fluid, stylish motion. Halu pushes the motion limits again, often with dynamic, almost cinematic camera moves. VO3 provides a realistic and smooth conversion, often maintaining the original mood and lighting of the image exceptionally well. 
And these last shots here with the pirates, I really enjoyed making this. This guy's meant to be standing on top of the shard. And none of them really quite nailed it for me. See, Dance Pro was pretty good. VO3 kept jumping to more of like this kind of very dramatic animated version and changing how the top of the shard looked. Whether I used Google VO3 Fast or Google VO3, the full version. And then when I put it into Runway Gen 4, I just loved the fact that it just kept it really like the original image. But I do think Seed Dance won that battle. So as you can see, every tool has its strength. Some are better at certain types of images and animations, and some are better at other types of images and animations. One of the big advantages of Google Free, of course, is the fact that it adds sound effects and can add voice and all those things without having to do anything extra. But in some cases, some of the other models are much better than Google Free. So in that case, you can then take the video output from those and add sound effects afterwards, as well as add the lip sync. It's so powerful to have all of these tools within one platform on design and be able to decide which one works best for you. So which tool impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments below what your opinions were of each of the video generations and which ones stood out to you. I look forward to hearing and reading your comments. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, tips and future updates on the design platform.